What is going on, Outlaws Death here, and we're back with another Red Dead Redemption video. Today we have another horse spotlight. We're going to be breaking down the Black Chestnut Thoroughbred. You get this horse by buying the Ultimate Edition of Red Dead Redemption, so let's see if this horse is worth it. As you can see right here, we're getting shot from all kinds of angles, and the horse was staying still. It allowed me to put the bounty in the back of the horse without any problem, without going crazy or bucking me off. So when it comes to this type of activities, this horse will fare extremely well. You can go straight into any sort of bounties and go straight into gunfire and it will not go crazy, it will not buck you off. But with that being said, this horse is a little skittish and also this horse has rather low stats when it comes to stamina and health, so it will get down rather quickly. Nonetheless, it still keeps up with the best horses when it comes to speed and acceleration, and I highly advise if you're a fan of those two stats, go out of your way and get it. It's still going to fare out very good when it comes to being tanky, even though it has rather low health, it's still a very good horse, it's going to keep you on top of the races if you like racing, and like I said, when it comes to PvE content like this, it will behave very good, allowing you to get any sort of bounties, allowing you to race down targets before they get away, so overall when it comes to shootouts and PvE content like this, it's a very good horse. But what's next? How does this animal fare out against other animals? Does it fare out very well against wolves, bears, and things of the sort? Well, I believe it does. I put it up to the test. I rode this horse for about two weeks, and I never ran into any problems. I was able to kill cougars, I was able to kill wolves, and I actually decided to put that to the test. So I went into the Wolfman Legendary Bounty, and I seen, hey, let's test this horse out, let's see how it fares out, and if it gets scared while there's wolves around. And let me tell you guys, this thing was tearing the wolves a new one. It was just wrecking them. It wasn't even worrying about them, as you can see right here. Matter of fact, I actually killed the wolf by running him over with the horse, which is one of the newer things I've done while testing out these horses, so I actually left pretty happy with this horse. I do gotta say, once again, it's a little skittish compared to other horses, even though it might not show it sometimes, but it's still a very sturdy horse, so I highly advise you go out of your way, and if you want to collect the horse, if you're looking for a rare horse, this is definitely something you want to pick up. And with that being said, that's pretty much everything about this horse. It's extremely good, it's very fast, it has good acceleration, it does lack a little bit of health, and it does lack a little bit of stamina, but it's still fares out as one of the best horses and one of the rarest horses in Red Dead Redemption. With that being said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Let me know what horse you want me to cover up next. We have around 5 to 10 videos regarding the current horse spotlight. So go ahead and check them out. And for now, your boy Death Gun, out. That's it, goddammit! Help me! Anybody?